We're now, uh, as you know, in what we describe as phase 1A, and you saw people being vaccinated uh, on TV live today all over the state of Ohio, and that will continue um, in, the days, in the days ahead. Uh, just to recap, who is it that's being, um, getting vaccines now? It's our frontline uh, healthcare workers uh, is, is one large group. Uh, the next group is the congregate care, people in congregate care settings. Why did we pick those two? And I think most states have done this, and I think it's consistent with what CDC has said. We picked those two groups because our frontline medical people need to be protected. They are protecting us every single day. And we need to, we need to protect them. We need them out there. And that's why they're in this first group. In addition to that, we are seeing our heaviest losses in our nursing homes and in other congregate care settings. So we are starting with our nursing homes where the risk is the highest. And then we're moving to other congregate care settings where people are living together and where we know when it comes in, it spreads very quickly. And where we also know that many, many of the cases, these are individuals who um, or you know, have a higher mortality rate uh, than others might. So that's, that's what you're seeing happen today. It's not gonna be done <laughs> you know, overnight. It's gonna take weeks and weeks to do it, uh, but we have the process in place uh, to, get, to get that job done. And we have people out there who are doing this. We have, for example, our health departments who are getting vaccines. They're now working with EMS, as just as one example. They're working in some other kind of care settings. Uh, in addition to that, we have the four uh, pharmacy companies that are out there every day uh, that are vaccinating, uh, giving vaccines to residents and to uh, workers uh, in our long-term care facilities. So they're moving forward. You're also seeing our hospitals uh, and each day more hospitals get the vaccine and they're vaccinating those people who work in that hospital and work for them uh, who are on the, on the front line. So that's where we are today.